Hey, it's Wednesday. Time for another action figure adventures video here on SEO Tour Review. Today, Baby Skeletor and I are taking a look at some flea market finds. It has been a while since I've done a flea market finds episode. I really have not been going to the flea market much lately. Not really sure why. Uh, I always enjoy when I go, but I've just been kind of busy and not necessarily in the mood to get up extra early to go. I do have to mention that the flea markets in my area are very saturated with other collectors. The great thing about that is it's fun to go and hang out with those guys and see them. The bad thing is that it's very competitive kind of a market sometimes. So sometimes it's hard to find stuff. But let's dig in and start looking at these flea market finds. I picked up a PVC of the Yellow Ranger from Power Rangers Jungle Fury. This is actually one of my favorite seasons of Power Rangers. I actually just recently watched it. It's from the era of Power Rangers that I never watched growing up because I was in like college and uh, first starting my career and I hadn't really gotten back into Power Rangers yet. So there's a big void in the middle there that I've, I've actually finally just recently caught up on and I've been really impressed with a bunch of those seasons. From 1994's The Shadow Toy Line by Kenner Toys we have Ambush Shadow. This is a weird clear repaint of the shadow. Uh, he was supposed to have a cape and I think maybe a weapon. So when you squeeze his leg, he like pulls his cape up over his face and aims his weapon at the villains. He's molded in all clear plastic, which is kind of why I picked him up because I think he's kind of neat and clear. Also, I love that you can see like the mechanism work inside him because of that. <laughs> I just think that's cool. Uh, the only paint on him at all is his little eyeballs. Ah! Next up, we've got three Megazord figures. These were all given to me by my friend Nas. He runs a channel called Nostalgic. I'll put a link down below in the description and the name of the channel here on the screen. He's a good friend of mine. He does a lot of flea market videos. Not just flea market finds, but just like the vibe, the climate, the culture of the flea market. And uh, he's a big Power Ranger fan as well. We, we get along great and hang out whenever I do go to the flea markets. And uh, he was so cool about just giving me these figures when I was looking at them on his table. So... Let's take a closer look at the three Megazords. Here we've got the legendary Megazord. This is from Power Rangers Super Megaforce. Uh, I think it's missing a piece here for the shoulder pad. Um, you know, because this has like a little articulation point there. So I think it's missing one shoulder cover there, unfortunately. But it's still kind of cool. Uh, this is the, you know, the pirate ship. The uh, the mega ship or whatever it was called. That turned into, into a Megazord for Super Megaforce. This one's actually very poseable. Next up, we've got the Thunderstorm Megazord. This one is not quite as poseable. It has articulation at the shoulders there, nothing in the legs, but it does have a gimmick when you roll it. You can see the mane of the lion and the little Gatling gun piece up here from the Shark Zord or whatever it is. Uh, move. Um, so this is the, the Zord that is made when you combine the Thunder Rangers and the Wind Rangers Zords together from Power Rangers Ninja Storm, another one of my favorite Power Rangers seasons. And the third one I've got here is the Lightspeed Megazord from Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Another pretty good season. It's not my all-time favorite, but I do like some of the stuff they did with it. And uh, this Megazord is made out of rescue vehicles, and I do like how the arms can extend on it. I think that's pretty cool. That's something that happened in the show. And... Uh, if you move the Megazord at the waist, that is actually an action feature it has, so you can punch the bad guys just like in the show. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. It has a swivel down here at the, the legs, but no real articulation in the legs at all there. Oh, there's actually like a tab to help you do that pivot. Hmm. But he's pretty cool. I actually have another action figure of the Lightspeed Megazord that I've owned for a long time before I ever even saw that season of the show. Oh, he's got articulation at the... at one ankle? Interesting. The final item I have today is actually a G.I. Joe toy sealed in the package. This is from the Sergeant Savage line. This was a, a attempt to bring G.I. Joe back to the market after the three and three quarter inch line was canceled in 1994. They teamed up with Joe Kubert to create a new style of G.I. Joe. Uh, a little bit more gritty, a little bit more World War II inspired. Even though it was set in modern day, it kind of stole some stuff from the Captain America origin. Um, but Sergeant Savage and his Screaming Eagles was a cool toy line, and I was impressed to find this still sealed. Flip it around so you can see the back of the package. 
There was actually a guy at the flea market a few months back who was cleaning out a house in New York. The person was a big military toy collector, and a lot of people got a lot of really cool G.I. Joe and Star Wars stuff off of this guy. Uh, but there was also a lot of weird stuff that was, like, custom painted, and there were several of these P-40 Warhawks that were sealed in the package. And I bought this one for not a whole lot more than it originally retailed for. It's got a $24.99 sticker on the top here from Toys R Us back in the day. I can't remember exactly what I paid, but it, it wasn't a whole lot more than that. So in the comments down below, leave me some feedback if you would like to see a full review of the P-40 Warhawk, because I am seriously thinking about opening it up and assembling it. The box is not in perfect shape. Uh, I'm not really a Sergeant Savage collector, but the P-40 Warhawk is definitely the coolest vehicle from the line. Uh, maybe even the coolest toy in the whole Sergeant Savage line. Thanks for watching this action figure adventures video. Do Baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.